<laughs> Hello guys and gals, and how are you doing today? Hopefully your weather is better than mine. Because I'm looking out the window and all I see is white. That crazy weather's come back. <laughs> I love and I hate winter. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I I've got a lot of it right now. It it's not pretty. It's not nice. Okay, first things first. Let me get this set up. There we go, and then we can do this. We can do that. We can come back to the chat. Hello, guys and gals, and welcome back to the Flat Ironic server. Oh, it's night. I'm gonna have to take another nap. For some reason, the days seem to go very quickly on this server. But <laughs> I have been trying a good portion of the morning to get back to where I was for my resources. Unfortunately, there was a bit of downtime this morning, so I only got on like maybe an hour ago. So I haven't had a chance to do much of the replacing of all that stuff. Well, from the sounds of it, Miner, it is going to be the next three days. Today, tomorrow, and Friday. And by the end of it, I could have nearly eight inches of snow on the ground. And it's not the safe snow. It is going to rain snow, rain snow, rain snow. It's not going to be a nice situation outside. In fact, I don't even have salt in my uh, salt shaker, which is not a good thing. Okay, now... Oh... Right, right, right. I I put myself in my house because I needed to uh, take a break and I didn't get back out there to get all the saplings, so I lost them. But I, I've replaced all the chests. Uh, I've gotten a decent supply back, but it's definitely nowhere near what it was. And there's an enderman wandering around. Knowing my luck, he's going to go and take off with something, and that's not going to be nice. He's going to go put a hole in my build. I, I just know it. Alright, I'm going to have to grab some of my extras over here. If I can actually get in and out of there, it would be great. Now, I actually extended this. Out to there, so hopefully we can kind of get more back quicker. I'm hoping. Like, I can't take anything that's in here, which... It's a little annoying. Actually, let's see. I can use this. Where did I put... Wait, where did I put... There they, oh, I only got one? Eek. 
I need more than one. Put that part of that there into it. Okay. There we go. And... Oh, there we go. Um, they're, they've been a little bit busy, so I don't really want to bug them too much about it. Uh, I'm not sure on the La Nina part of it. I know um, they're calling it currently an Alberta Clipper, which is something we do get a fair amount of. But I'm not sure um, how Whoa! Holy crap. Um, where did the rest of my scaffolding go? Because I'm going to need it for that. Where is the rest of my scaffolding? I am going to need it. I know where, where I think I've kept a lot of it. Ow. Smack my face into the wall. And I've got more villagers that I can send downstairs when I've got stuff for them. I mean, yeah, sure, I can land up here, but having the scaffolding helps. Well, that'll be a good way to get some uh, lantern, not lanterns, um, shroom lights. Whether I use them in this build or not, I am going to need them for the cyberpunk area in any case. Well, it, it's not just the Pacific. Like, we do get affected by El Nino and El, uh, El Nino. It's just... I don't think they've stated it as such yet this year, but I haven't really been watching the news, so I couldn't say one way or the other. Like, we get affected by what you get for weather. Where I am, we do get that, we do get affected by it. Ooh, lots of shroom lights. Um, not necessarily. Uh, where I am, we have a lot of lakes. We have a lot of water. And we get storm sur- not storm surges. Um, we get storm effects from everywhere. Alberta, Montana, Colorado. We get storms that go through those places. And they come up and affect us. And then we have our own natural stupidity in weather. Because our own weather is so dang stupid sometimes. Let's see, if I go up to the top... Um, 
Like, we get weather that, for no reason, it will just drop over a couple of days and then come back. And be really nice. And then it'll drop again. And that's kind of how the next couple weeks are looking right now. There, there might be one more day that's over uh, zero degrees Celsius. And then it's all minus. So we are getting the colder weather now. Yeah, well it's... You got, have to remember, minus temperatures in Celsius are not the same as minor temperatures or minus temperatures in Fahrenheit. When you guys finally get into the Fahrenheit, we've already been in the minuses for like 20 points or something like that. Like, you, you don't get into the negatives until... Like, minus, I think it's, I think it's minus 15 or 20, somewhere in and around there for Celsius. So, by the time you guys hit negative, we've already been there for ages. But yeah, it, it's... I, I now have to replace the shoes that I keep by the door with my winter boots. I was not looking forward to that. I was kinda hoping I could keep my shoes just a little bit longer, but no. It's gotta be the boots now. No, the cross at 50. At least I think it's 50. It's not minus 50? I thought it was 50. It could be wrong. I, I've... I've been trying to ignore <laughs> that temperature anyway. Because, uh, it's too damn cold. Uh, f minus 40 is horrible. Minus 50 is even worse. And if you never have to experience it, feel blessed. Because minus 50 will quite literally take your breath away. In not in a good way. <laughs> okay, how many do I have? Oh god. Ugh. I'll have to change that back in a minute. No, I, I've been at minus 50, and we've had minus 50 for a week at one point. It is not fun. It is actually quite bone chilling. It is... It's something that I don't wish on any but the hardiest people. Because they might actually survive it. And it's not fun. Hmm. Starting to think I should uh, maybe make a, a farm or something for... For getting the mushrooms. <laughs> I, I will also say I'm a little disappointed. Um, I'm a little disappointed. Um, not I haven't seen as many people on recently, and 
it, it's almost starting to feel like I'm on the server by myself. But I get it, like, D and Go are both in school at the moment, and it's hard for them to make time. And I can just fly, but I'll try and be somewhat legit on this without having to fly everywhere. Um, I know, like, B and Go are busy with schoolwork, and they're probably trying to get as far ahead as they can so that they don't have to maybe worry during the holidays. Because I, I know they're having trouble getting and finding time to actually sit down and record or stream or do anything really other than their schoolwork. And their schoolwork is obviously far more important. But I, I do have to admit I'm I'm a little sad that I don't see them more often. And it, this definitely is starting to feel just a, a little bit lonesome. I know Poffy hasn't been feeling well, so not not trying to put anybody down. It's just. The server feels so quiet. Like I, I, I don't even feel like sticking around half the time after I'm done streaming. I just pop off over to whoever I, I raid and then it's like, um, I'm, I'm kind of by myself so I'm just, you know, gonna go get dinner and then sit back and relax for a while, and a while turns into a few hours, a few hours turns into the rest of the night, and I never get much else done. And it, it's not their responsibility. Like, I should be on here. But I will say, I also... I don't feel like recording when I only have the one screen and I can't double check that yes, everything's recording, everything's up, everything's going well. So, there's that. <laughs> Although I have, I, I've been told. Yeah, yeah. Okay, first off, Alaska is normally warmer than where I am. <laughs> the Yukon is generally warmer than where I am. So you cannot use those two places and say they have it worse because they generally will not have it worse. They have the Pacific Coast, which means they get the Pacific jet stream in the water, which warms up their area. Which is why they are normally warmer than where I am. Yes, yes, they quite literally do. Um... We don't get reports about Siberia. If, if you get reports about Siberia, please let me know. Okay, that's where I was putting junk. I'm gonna put all of the wart blocks in here. Oh. I'm gonna keep you out because you are... I'm gonna put the shroom lights in there. This will come in handy for wood, for for nice little accents and such. Uh, 
Yeah, no, um... I've heard Siberia is pretty bad. I think that they may get worse temperatures because they have so much space that's inland that's away from any jet stream of waters that could warm them up. I have heard it's it is not a fun place to be. But again, I don't know. Because we don't get that kind of information. Although I will say uh, we have had in recent history a day where they have basically stated we were colder than the surface of Mars. And they made a huge freaking deal about it. We were colder than it was on Mars. Uh, you're talking to somebody who knows Celsius. Just because I've been able to kind of on the fly change and figure out what that is. Minus 20 in January. That even seems a little warmer than what we've had, but that is roughly around what we get. Come on. Ow. Such a rude tree. Actually, I think the, the nether warp block here is going to actually be able to help out with some design and decoration. That'll be good. Because we need more red. And since this is red, we can use it. It's got texture on it, which is nice. Yeah, and if you look up my area and look at it's average for January. What would you find? Woohoo! That's a tall one. Yeah, which city is that? I bet you it's in my province. Oh darn it, I'll have to go grab that when I get down there. Hmm. You, you know, you. What city? Which city is colder? Okay, you know, I can see that. I'm surprised it's Saskatoon, though. Because Manitoba is known for the really cold weather, not Saskatchewan.
Okay. I, I don't like uh, not sleeping. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get indoors. <laughs> oh, from 2019. I bet. I bet you if you went. Hmm. 17 or even last year. Uh, the January would likely have been colder. I think we'll leave the... the warp blocks and... See, I don't know, like, do I use the warp blocks as texturing on the buildings as they are right now? And I don't need any more creepers. What, Saskatoon? Saskatchewan? Yeah, they may be landlocked, but, uh... They still shouldn't be as... cold or colder than, uh, Siberia. Mm, yeah, it may be too much. Well, here's the fact. I am not fully landlocked. Because we have the Hudson's Bay, which is where pretty much every colony and every colonizer came through. For the most part, they came through Hudson's Bay. If they didn't come down the St. Lawrence, they would have come through Hudson's Bay, which is in the north. It is, I think, a little shy of the Arctic Circle. But it was where they were looking for the Northwest Passage, which they believed was a thing that could take them... Possibly to China through a method that wouldn't take them across the Horn of Africa. They were looking for what they would hope to have been a safer route. Unfortunately, there was no such thing as the Northwest, Northwest Passage. There has been something made since then, since that time. But it's only because of the modern ships that we even have this possible passage. So, no, like, all, all people who came to colonize Canada, if they did not come down the St. Lawrence, which would have been all of the Atlantic provinces, Quebec, and a bit of Ontario, they came down through the Hudson's Bay, down the Red River, and then spread out from there. Um, actually, no, Jacques Cartier found Canada before the people looking for the Northwest Passage did. Which is why we have such a strong French community. They believe they had been here first and we have found out since then that no, they, they honestly weren't. Uh, the people who were here first technically were 
the indigenous, and then beyond that, the Vikings. The Vikings actually found Canada before the French. And we have, um, let's see, what was it? Uh, it became a national heritage site in 1968 and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 78. And it's um, the archaeology dig that found what remained of a Viking village. And that was in the northern tip of the island of Newfoundland. Um, I think they knew of, but didn't realize how many islands actually were north of the Hudson's Bay. So, I think that became part of it. But also, there was so much here that they could find and, like, take advantage of. There were so many resources here that if you played nice with the people, you got a lot of stuff. You could get a whole lot of stuff if you played nice. And if you didn't, well... Yeah, you, 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 do, you don't want to be on the wrong side there. You really don't. It, it's not going to be pretty. Okay. We're going to have a lot of red. Well, I'm not sure uh, the Crimson Planks are going to be the best thing. They will come in as partly decoration, partly maybe something built out of them. I'm not sure. But we will use the Crimson Planks as much as we've used everything else. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of islands up there. A lot of cold, barren islands that you would have to pay me a lot to go up there because it is absolutely remote and for the most part it is scientific based. It's, it's more research areas than it is anything else and uh, research in- oh. Oh dear. Oh, wow. It's a good thing that it doesn't override what's there, because I could have lost all that scaffolding. Uh, I think, for the most part, it's more just a research center now. But it did used to be, especially during the Cold War, um, an area that kept an eye on uh, what was happening in Russia. And if Russia ever tried to start something, they were supposed to be the first line to kind of, Hey, um, we got movement here, we've got something happening, you may want to be aware of this. Hmm. Well, my understanding is there is not a day where you're not wearing a parka or a winter jacket or something because the cold just doesn't leave. It is definitely not my ideal place to be stopping and being and doing anything. I, I'm not a big person for cold. Like, I know I can put more on, 
and that's great and I do but at the same time I don't like being too hot so I, I'm, I'm a person who likes the moderate Give, give me a nice moderate temperature and I'm happy. Okay, back down. This should get all the rest of this and then... I'll go and put all of this away for storage. And we might go into the nether. I do have to find a new place to go digging. Wait, I just realized something. I... I just realized something going up that scaffolding and I'm not happy about it. But I get it. I get why it would have happened. This. Oh. Need to stay in there for the daytime. Uh, option. Use the pack. I knew it. I knew it. Um, this one. My resource pack wasn't on. And I didn't realize until just then. Okay, we'll put these in there as well. And put these in there. Okay, now, while I was looking at things uh, this m afternoon when I finally got on, I really- oh, thank you. Um, I realized that the sidewalls here looked really flat, really plain, really boring. So I extended out or I wrapped around the top and bottom. I haven't done any of the um, vertical because I'm not sure it really needs it. I mean, I could put one, say, here, back here, so it connects to that piece up there. But let's show you on this side. And to try and do it over here would put it straight through the conveyor belt and nah, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> oh. Matt, hello, how are you doing? 25 months, wow. More than two years. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Oh dear God, how many, how many giant ones? One, two. there's at least three giants in there. <laughs> yeah, Matt, I'm not sure if you'd seen this from Monday, but we do have. At least three buildings. Oh! You didn't see this? Yeah, we've got three of the buildings for Santa's workshop. The smooth basalt here is going to act as the conveyor belts. So this is the storage room. This is going to have all of the storage so when we get in and start decorating, and I don't have the floors in yet. But when we get into here and start actually decorating it, 
I'm gonna put logs and maybe some concrete and just a bunch of different things that you would normally find in a storage for the homemade toys and such. And I think I can't remember. I think yellow is, um, I think the yellow section is the carving? Because I know painting somewhere over in this section. Probably over there, I think. There, there's one step here and then another step right beside it, and then it comes around the corner comes around the corner again and back up towards the top towards the top here and then we'll have Santa up and going up and around so it's not quite there yet but it's getting there Whew. sorry about that yeah I I had um I had a creeper incident. Wait, did I leave? Okay, no, that's the snow blocks. I, I did have a creeper incident. And that creeper was an absolute jerk. Because he just appeared, like, right here. And I hit him once with uh, my axe and I backed off. He still blew up, blew up all of these bottom chests, just the first ones. Blew up the chests, and apparently the items all went with it, too. So, it was not fun. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Miner, for... Oops. Sent that on the wrong chat. Oops! <laughs> no, this is, um... I'm happy I got it all dug out, but at the same time, there's a lot to do. Let's see, we need... We need to get more spruce. But I, I did mention going into the nether, didn't I? Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the hoe in there for now. What else can I get rid of in here? Get rid of that. I'm gonna take that with me. I'll take that with me. That's ashes. That's good. I don't want to go to the Nether. But since I am, I'm going to have to go and get my gold piece of armor. I think I've got a gold hat. Just want to double check. Yes, I have a gold hat. I'll put my netherrack one back in there. Netherrack. Netherite! Oh, Myra's going to sleep. Oh, some interesting things happened. Hopefully nobody got hurt by anything. Wait, there's a zombie. Did he just walk back through the portal? He did. Okay, this is where I have been digging. Suppose I can go back down here for a bit and see. I mean, this scares me. 
Like, that is a lot of lava. And I honestly thought it was solid. Apparently it's not. Mm. Well, stuff like that has happened sometimes. Okay, so I started... Expecting that. Okay, so there's, there's a lot of uh, lava that way. Okay, so I was trying to expand this way, wasn't I? in hopes of getting some new area, so what can I can reach? Gotta be careful, I don't wanna dig up any lava. If I find nether or ancient debris, so be it, I don't care. I I I need quartz. Uh, there's been a lot of shipping issues everywhere in retail right now, Miner. So, I'm, I'm not too surprised at that. I'm, I'm honestly not that surprised because there's been so many issues with shipping right now. There, there's been such a supply shortage on some things. Mostly because either the pandemic or the stuff that's been going on with the shipping containers and the shipping companies. I, I, I'm honestly not surprised. There's been a lot of mess ups there. That was a lot of quartz. That was a lot of quartz. Wow, really? There was nothing? Nothing? Wow. That's almost impressive. There's nothing. Crazy. Mm. Oh, making sure you check out the equipment is always a good thing. You you don't want to have faulty equipment. Oh, 
Good to know where I can get some bucks and ooh, more quartz. Yes. All right, we've got more quartz. Have to be very careful about this. I think I'm going to leave the black stone open for now. Or at least exposed for now. So that I can come back here. Because I know I'm going to need more black stone. I just don't want to get it right now. I'll grab the few pieces that I actually have broken off because I don't want to lose them. And I still don't even have a stack of quartz, but it's a lot better than it was. Alright, let's continue this way. We've been a little bit lucky. So I don't want to... I don't want to... Jinx that luck. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh yay, I get to dig through some of it because it's that big. Whoa, that would have been a bit warm. Thank goodness we avoided that. But we didn't avoid that one. Oof. Let's do that. Okay, so it comes from there. Okay, hopefully there's not much more of it there. Don't look like it. At least not beside it. We're definitely gonna have to be careful when digging. Oh, this is good to know. I'm going to need the gravel. I'm going to need the gravel for any concrete I want to make. Which will come in handy because we need bright colors for Christmas. Alright. I'm um, not quite to where I... Doug for the last one. Oh, I'm past it now. I'm past it. Oh, I didn't go past. There we go. Somewhere around here. Okay, so we're coming up to wherever that lava is. A 
Okay. Did we get rid of all the lava? Just by... Uh, just by placing that block? Was it just that one piece of lava? Huh. <gasps> Ooh. Hello, my friend. That was advantageous. Got another couple pieces of uh, ancient debris. Those will come in handy. Yeah, that was nice. It was nice to get that. Uh, we could go back on that other side, but I'm kind of not interested in it. Oh. Let's put that there. Prevent myself from getting too far in there. Oh, there's some gold there. Oh, Darn it. I'll have to go back and uh, fix that lava in just a minute. And that lava! Oh. Alright, we gotta fix this lava. Is it just a... Really? That's all it was? That's all it was. That's good to know. And like I said, I, I need that. This one is going to be a little bit more complicated because there is a lot more over here. Hmm. Okay, it's going to go that way, which is nice. Do this so that I can now Okay, there's something I'm missing here. What am I missing here? Okay, so that's not what I wanted. Ow, darn it. I was hoping I could 
need to get around this. Looks like I'll have to come around this side to figure out what's going on. Okay, now if I do, yep. Let's see if we can. Now, if we do this. That, nope, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. No, that definitely needs to stay there. I think I just made this worse. Oh, that's annoying. Can I get rid of any of these? Okay, so comes in from there. Okay, that got rid of that one at least, maybe. Ooh. <laughs> That! I looked out there. I looked out there. I really did look out there. Whoa. That could have been really, really bad. That is going to be bad. No, it isn't. Oh, nice. Okay, so if I do that, I can take it that back. Okay. Well, that's a little annoying, but I don't recall seeing any quartz on this run, which is a little sad. I was hoping to find some. I was hoping to find a bit more. I mean, we've only got less than a stack. Okay, why is... How? Huh? I have no idea what's going on there. I don't know why there's that this strip here. when I'm working at this level. That confuses me. <laughs> that confuses me! Why is it like that? Two, three, four, five. Uh, let's make sure that that's Filled in. No, I, I have a feeling somebody else was in the area and that's where they chose to go, but I'm not certain on that. Uh, 
Uh, more patchwork. I don't want to go down there. Of course, we run into a bunch of lava. Okay, it looks like it's coming from that side. But I can't quite get a sense of where it is. Oh no, is it just a whole ocean here? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Can I come up? Oh good, I can. Oh, it is an entire ocean here, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, I am so happy I did it that way. Oh, have been so dangerous. I think it's safe now, but I'm just going to do the top. Oh, that would have been bad. Oh, that was close. That was close. Stupid lava. <laughs> Getting in the way of me digging. Darn it. I just want to dig. Oh boy. Here we go again with the lava there. Okay, did any of that lava come back this way? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it all went towards the other side there. So, well, first things first, let's make sure that's blocked. Is there something from this side maybe we can do? And just block off the lava altogether. Oh, crap! Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> I think I'm, I think all my stuff is safe. I think all my stuff is safe. Oh. My bed has not been obstructed. <gasps> no. Oh my god, no! Okay, I'm gonna sleep first and I'm gonna... That, that was me being 
being stupid and not thinking about how the lava was gonna move. Okay, first things first, I need... Um... No, I don't want the efficiency. Um, I'll take the silk. That's really all I might need. Whoa! I did not want that. I'll take this. And I was going to take this. I'm only going to take the the hat. Oh, do I have any food? I'll take that with me. Oh, I barely got that. Oh, I barely, barely, barely. I'm going to make sure I've got fly on so that I can fall down here quickly. That... That was a little crazy. Amazing, but crazy. Good, I might need some of those still. Okay. Oh. Wow. That's insane! <laughs> That's insane! How did I manage that? <laughs> I got so dang lucky! Ashes, multiplying. Oh, wow, we don't really have much space left for anything, do we? Um Absolute luck. That was absolute luck. Wow. Well, the bad thing is, I really do want to continue to block that hole. But how to do that? Um... Can we do it this way now? Is that all the lava? Oh, wow. Okay, that, that's a little crazy. Let's go waypoints, latest death. We can just eat that. I'm still looking for... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You have got to be kidding me! This 
That is insane! Jeez. Three pieces when I wasn't looking for it? Moyang, you're jerks. <laughs> All I'm gonna say, you're jerks. Yay, there's some there, there's some uh ports. We'll we'll come back, we'll 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 do this entire side and then hopefully there's not gonna be a bunch of lava. Ooh. But there looks to be a lot of quartz on this side, so that's good. It looks like there's a lot of quartz on this side, so... We'll start here. Really? That's crazy. That is just crazy. I mean, that's a lot of ancient debris to be finding. And it's just incidental. Like, I wasn't even trying to find it. Okay, so, you know what? Let's swap these out. And be careful because I don't want any more lava falling on my head. Oh, that's good. That's nearly two stack of quartz, and that's obviously not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough. Hello, sir. Thank goodness for the helmet. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and here. I want to make sure that we're not going to end up walking in someplace. Oh, uh, more gravel. There's more gravel. And I don't have space for it. I'm gonna have to dump a lot of uh, netherrack. Uh, yes, they did manage to film it. Scar was able to be a part of it yesterday. And... Uh, Impulse basically said to look for their episodes on Friday. Oh wow, that's... this is so much gravel. Oh, this is so much gravel. Uh, no. 
I don't think so. Oh, so much gravel. But this is good. This is so good because that means I can actually hopefully do a lot of concrete. One of the big things got to be careful is if there's lava. Alright, so... This walkway is here. And I want that to be there. And we've got a lot of gravel. <laughs> I didn't even bring any of the shulker boxes with me. Hmm? Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I can't even see use for netherrack in the Christmas build right now. The only thing I can see wanting nether rack for is to get nether bricks for maybe part of the cyberpunk mountain or even part of um, the steampunk. I think I'm at the end of my road here. Oh, did I go too far? Thank you. Hmm. I thought I had counted this uh, exactly like I did the other ones. The, these were further back, so I didn't think to count them. One, two, three. Yep, off by one. Son of a gun. There be quartz. And we need all the quartz we can get. Okay, there hasn't been any dropped quartz that I haven't picked up, so now it's... go. Now I dropped an, or broke another piece of quartz somewhere else, did I not? Got all that. Oof, both sides are a little rough. Oh, good to know that. Let's uh let's fill that in. I guess I didn't. Huh. I thought I had. That was rough. So yeah, I went one too far, unfortunately. Hi Star! How are you doing? Doesn't matter 
It's a new and shiny update. So all the servers and mods must advance day zero of release? Huh? What did I miss here? What did I miss? Star, what have I missed? Did... I don't know if it is. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying... Sarcasm. Oh. Well, what, what, what are you being sarcastic about? Now I'm curious. I, 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 I don't think I had been doing something that required that, but I could be wrong. <laughs> two, two, three, four. Two, three. Let's try this one. Two, three. Let's, let's try it this way. Oh, people are stupid. One eighteen is coming. Hold your dang horses! Grow to hick up! No, like, really? Wait, wait, oh, no, 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 no. Um, we've been patient all year for stuff, so why, why are you getting impatient and being jerks about it now? 118 is coming. Now, did they put out, um, I, I actually didn't look today, so, was there a snapshot release today? Oh, no, no, no. Not again. Very true there, Miner. We'll get there when we get there. Like, I get it, you're impatient, you want it now, but that's not helping anybody. They're doing their best. Like, they, they're already upset with themselves that they had, that they couldn't put everything in one release. Why, why do you have to go and make it even worse? Like, don't do that. Moyang's like one of the few companies that actually, you know, values what their player base says. So why would you go and just be complete jerks about it? I get that you're sick and tired of waiting, but nobody likes waiting nobody likes waiting that's no ex that's no reason to go I want it and I want it now I want it, I want it now like a freaking crybaby okay no snapshot hmm no it The stupidity of some kids. And, and I, I will leave it at kids. Because <laughs> there, there's some adults, let's face it, there's some adults that are just bad.
Okay, so did we uncover anything on this side? It really doesn't look like it. Oh, we just barely missed another lava flow. I'll avoid that all every and any chance I get. Okay, so there wasn't anything on this side. There's more lava, and I, we know there's a lava flow on this side, so we'll just continue going as quickly. Crap! That's a lot of lava. <laughs> that's a lot of lava. Oh wow, that's a butt ton of lava. Uh, and it's hiding quartz, so we have to deal with it. There's a bunch of quartz underneath there. We have to get to the quartz. Like, what do I have? I have two stacks and four for the quartz at the moment. Okay, so... The lava is definitely coming from above, I want to say. So I don't want to avoid some of that. No, no, <laughs> no, not again, <laughs> not again. <laughs> Okay, so how do we deal with this? Ah, oh. okay, no, that goes straight that way, which works for me. If I do that, I can then maybe get. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Do that. That should take care of all the lava that's over that was over there. Yeah. Okay. So now. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna stay there. Oh wow, that is a lot of lava. Um, yeah, ki kids will be childish. Kind of in their name, I think. Okay, now where is this one coming from? I think I need to take a little walk around here. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, that would have been really bad. Okay. Little walk around and down so I can see where the heck this is. Hopefully. Okay, that did not help. Huh. Okay. 
Okay, so there's some there. Looks like... Okay, so if I can do that, this one, then maybe this, I can maybe get, no, that's not working, oh, that would have been bad. And that really is bad. Um, okay, so if I oh no 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 oh, oh, oh. I just need to avoid the lava. That's all I need to do. I just need to avoid the lava. No, that's not what I wanted. I was hoping to get it there and be another one underneath it if I could because it seems like that's where a lot of this is coming from okay I think I've got everything on this side now Okay, now that I kind of know where some of this is, do that. There's that, and then I think... I think that kind of takes care of a good portion of it. I mean, there's obviously some still going there, and there's there's stuff coming from this direction, but we knew that was happening too. Like that, that's that's the really big one. That's gonna take. Oh no 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 no! Oh, at least I found it before I went digging over there and had it land straight on my. Head. Oh, too much lava! There's <laughs> too much lava over here. Now, here's the question if I do this now. There's still lava there, but it's less. Uh, one of these days I'm going to be able to get rid of it. <laughs> Good to know where that is. <laughs> uh, let's do that. And we know that there's lemon like just above there because we can see the drips there coming. So how am I gonna get around this one? Where where are the drips coming? They're coming from those two, right? So, 
that just to try and work my way around here. Okay, that's where a good portion of it's coming from, it looks like. Okay, so we want to try and block. Kind of want to try and block this off into maybe a couple of different sections. In hopes of maybe controlling this a little bit better. So if I did this, it's coming from the roof, but there's no, there, there, there's no, um, blocks to use that, or could be used to kind of work with it, so I'll come over here. And since we have an area we can actually... Oh, wow, that, yeah, there's an ocean there. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that. We don't want to have to deal with that. No, that's not where you need to go. do that to kind of help guide it. Uh, that's not going to help. No, 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 no. I got out of it. Trying to be careful. I'm trying to be careful. Okay, so if I come over here. There's like, there's nothing underneath here for this to get any traction on. Okay, so that's this side taken care of. Doesn't want to let me. So if I do it that way, and then. Oh! Okay, yeah, I should still be able to get in here. It's not going to take... Oh, wait. Okay, so it doesn't take care of it completely. Because of that. Uh, that doesn't work. Let's see if we can...
I swear the blocks don't... What? Oof. It's like the blocks aren't wanting to place where I'm aiming. Like... That's just annoying. go. I think that's all of it there. Now I should be able to come here and get the quartz. Hopefully without running into any lava. Okay. This area is just a mess. Um, we know why it's a mess, but it's still one heck of a mess. Oh! That would have been bad. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, let, let's try not to play with the, the lava too much more. Um, I, I think I'm gonna have to call that good for now. Cause, yeah. I don't want to play with any more lava today. Oh, I don't want to play with lava anymore today. It's bad enough, like, right down here, I've got a bunch of lava that if I could get rid of it, I could travel down this pathway just a little bit more and maybe find something uh, useful. But, yeah. This doesn't look like it's that safe to oh wait is it just that thing. <laughs> hey Briggsy! No, it's definitely not a hot tub. Uh, I know, but at the same time, there were several places where there should have been blocks when I was trying to place them, so... Okay... Didn't quite take care of all of it. Let's see if we can take care of Okay, that takes care of the one side. It doesn't take care of this side though. Ooh. Is this all is this all there? Please, 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 please. Ah uh, stop. I'm terrified, but... Okay, there is one block down here. And it looks like there's another one down there. I'm 
yeah, no, I'm not going this way. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere that way. Nope. I, I, I think I'll have to leave it be. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any way of getting uh, out of that one. Nope. I got no space for it. The nether rack could come in handy. Um We're we're, we're just gonna go <laughs> We're just gonna take the easy route back. <laughs> yeah, that was um no. No. Just, just no. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with it. Alright. I, I know it's, we didn't get much work done on this today. But I think we managed to get a decent amount of stuff for other parts of the build. This and that. Oh wait, I, I had the gravel somewhere else, right? I have the gravel... Where did I put the gravel? I put the gravel in another chest. This one. But that, seven debris without, you know, looking for it, without meaning to look for it. Ah, that's crazy. But yeah, we didn't get anything done over here, but it's a good start. It's a good start. And, and from the creeper incident, uh, we kind of needed to restock everything. Unfortunately. Okay, so now I can take that off. I can put that back there. I can put that back there. I'll stick that hat in there and grab that one out. And Ooh, hey! I got two pieces of netherite there! Can't be mad at that. Two whole pieces of netherite. That's uh, another couple of tools that I could uh, make up and get up to get to where I want them. Three, four, five, six, five. Uh, let, let's dig this up and see how much quartz we'll have to play with. Because this is going to help with snow and all of that. And I'm sorry, but there, there seems to be something going on with the placing. Because... Oh, never mind. I see why. I see how that one happened. There's a carpet there. I just want to get all this mined up so I can see how much quartz we have to play with. See how much we can uh, count on this for stairs and blocks and all that kind of stuff. But how are you, Briggsy? How's work? How has your day been? Hopefully better than mine, as I'm looking out at snow-covered roofs. I really didn't want snow yet. I, I would have loved to have missed snow until, you know, 
sometime in December. <laughs> Despite the fact that it's been so dry, I, I I don't like having to deal with messy weather. People get stupid. Especially the first snowfall, people get really stupid and it's really annoying. It's like people you gotta remember, you gotta slow down. You gotta you can't go the speed limit. You need to slow down. You don't know what the conditions are. It could be icy as freak. Don't be idiots. And they're still idiots. Alright. Th that wasn't as much as I was hoping it would be, but... I was hoping for a, a tower that was a little higher. Okay, let's see... Four, five, five stacks in a bit. Uh, that's not going to be much. That's only one stack of blocks. So that's definitely not going to be a lot to work with. I'll have to go down and get more. I don't want to. <laughs> there we go. No, I'm going to use them for stairs. To make it look like there's snow covered roofs. So, with some of these roofs, like I haven't put stairs on them yet. Um, let's see, it's eh, the last couple of minutes, so let's do this. I'll come over and I'll show you here. Come on. There we go. Something along the lines of that. So it looks kind of like it's snow covered and all that fun stuff. But yeah, this is the current design. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot I made that upper part. Okay. That's from a Material storage. Uh, what is this one again? Carving, molding, casting, and making. And then it goes to painting. So, oh, I I messed up. I really didn't do this properly. Meh. I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, like this will be the casting making area. This will be painting. And a big, huge thing to come around to here, which is drying, which should be interesting to try and depict. And finishing. Then wrapping. And this one is packing. So this is to pack it into the bundles and the sleigh for the sleigh. And then somehow that's got to come up here, and this is meant to be the sleigh and the reindeer. So this is probably going to be the most difficult part of the entire build, to get this to look appropriate. No, 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 no. This is supposed to be Santa's workshop, and the reason I put casting was because occasionally the toys would be like cast iron or that kind of stuff so casting is a thing but yeah like we've already got this built and we've already got 
the the lower half of this build, but we've already put the roof on it. Hmm. There, there's likely going to be a bunch of changes. And then all these yellow pieces here are meant to be like elf houses and they'll back out onto like maybe walkways that go around the workshop. This was meant to be Santa and Mrs. Claus's house, but I've already changed this to the like I'm gonna have it come across this valley and kind of fill the valley instead and come back to here. I think I've got it marked out pretty well. But yeah, this will be Santa's house. And we've already gotten this kind of built and I of course do not have this dug out. I do not look forward to having to do that. For when I want to get the interior done. But yeah, th this is the reasoning behind the quartz. Have that to help do the snow effect, essentially. And if I really want to, I can do this and this and that and that. No, not there. That. So it gives it maybe a little bit of movement there. Yeah, unfortunately snow doesn't give you the, the staircase effect. But I'm... In any of the ones that I don't have to put, you know, staircases on. Like, um... This one has a roof that kind of slants down and I think I've used slabs for it so I'm gonna use the snow on there I should be able to use some of it on there and layer it up but yeah for now that's uh, that's what I was getting the quartz for Now, I think one of the big things, if I can get, if I can get maybe the main, the main parts of the factory done, built up, organized and all that fun stuff, with, with the conveyor belt going through all of them, if I can get that much done, I can then hopefully get started on the elf houses. And when I get the elf houses done, I can do Santa's. <laughs> yeah, um, once I get all these buildings done, because, like, that's gonna look. When it's actually all said and done, that's gonna look a little crazy gonna look amazing but it's gonna be crazy those like the reindeer and Santa at the top that's probably gonna be my hardest that's probably gonna be the most difficult part because it is so organic and there's only so many blocks that you can use 
And I'm going to need stuff that have um, candy cane. Uh, I'm going to need stairs and slabs and probably fences and all sorts. So I need... The reindeer are going to obviously be out of wood because there's there's nothing else. Maybe wooden... Wooden wool, maybe. Wooden wool. Yes, Matt? What's up? Giant candy cane. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks, Briggs. <laughs> Matt, I have a box. I have everything but the chips at the moment. The chips and maple. I cannot find maple candy for the life of me. I cannot find maple candy. I cannot find any maple candy at all. It is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're rubbing your hands together. I I don't doubt that. Yeah, I, I will say r right now though. Uh, provided we get a couple good days over the weekend, I might be able to get it off Monday. I'm not going to try sending it off in this crappy weather. Th this weather is crap right now. But I will... Let's see. I, it's supposed to be sunny on Saturday, so I'll be out and about and getting over to the farmer's market. So while I'm out there, I'll go out and get the chips. Get it packed up. Get it all taped up. <laughs> It'll be coming. It'll be coming. Trust me. It'll be coming. Um, I might end up just getting you some maple cookies. Because that's about all I can think of because I can't find any of the true maple candies which still annoys the heck out of me chips and candy yeah yeah he he's been asking and I I haven't been able to get the box together no I and I get it Matt I, I get it I mean it's been what nearly a year now and I haven't gotten it to you and I should have gotten it to you far along Far sooner than this. That's on me. That is completely and utterly on me. I should have gotten it to you sooner. Alright. The, the sad part is this this world is so old. I'll, I'll show you guys how old this world is. This world was... I think within the first couple of weeks of being on this server, I asked to get a copy of the world so that I could map out my builds. This is how old this world is. I've got this, but I have not made it yet. Because I was having trouble accessing this part of the server or my single player I was having so much trouble accessing the single player that I was getting to the end of my rope I don't like this I need to find a better support um, but this is how old it is this hasn't been turned into stone yet these are the towers that are supposed to go on the other side of this stone walkway. But this is supposed to be the new height. Haven't done anything with it. Have the carrot farm in. Have this in, but not fully decorated as it's meant to be. The potato farm is not in. The slime farm has not been dug. So what is going on here? What did I dig down here for?
I think that's where the slime farm is. So the slime farm hasn't been shown in this one. And this whole thing still has all the trees, all the dirt, nothing mapped out in here. No bridge, nothing yet. And the storage room back here doesn't exist. Um, do you remember where we first started on this area? Oh, where I first started? That's easy enough. Right here. This is the starting area. This is where I started. There were three little houses here that we then combined into this big giant one. And then the farm is over here. And oh! Oh, hey, is this in here? <gasps> it is in here! The salt maker is in here. This is where I tested it to make sure it would work. You remember the slim one with the chunks? With all the chunks. Slim one with all the chunks? Oh, are you talking about the mountain? The mountain that we started in? Yeah, the mountain we started with is this one. With the windmill. The windmill was the first thing. Hmm. Alright, you're closing it up and I'm going to be closing this down. So I will talk to you in a little while. <laughs> yeah, so... This is where it's at. This is... Thankfully I've been able to get back into the single player so that I can organize this and actually map out where stuff is and try and figure out what everything should look like. But that that's definitely going to be something I need to work on. Flying around and looking for slime chunks. Yeah, yeah. That was a thing. That was a thing. Alright, guys. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to say that's it for today. Because I do need to do some other things. Get some other things done. And uh, hopefully in, in a couple of a week or so, maybe, maybe more. I don't know. It depends on uh, how shipping goes. I may have a card that I can put into my computer. I have a power source, power unit that should be able to handle almost any graphic card. We did kind of figure out that it was likely the power source that kind of killed the last one. So hopefully in the next little bit I will actually be back to two monitors and running a little bit better and not having to worry so much about all my frames. <laughs> It'd be nice. But the big thing, the biggest thing, I'll be able to get back on to dungeons. And I'll be able to, maybe, maybe if I'm really lucky, I'll be able to actually stream my time in Portia. Because if you haven't seen that game, it is so well done. And I want to show you guys it because I've had so much fun with it. And I'm hoping that I'll get my time in Sandrock because... That's looking like it's going to be absolutely as much fun as my time in Portia. 
But until then, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Let's go and see. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop recording. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot I have replay mod on and yeah, it just recorded everything since we jumped in here. Oh. In any case, let's see who's streaming today. Let's see who's live. <laughs> Let's see if we've got anybody that we know. <gasps> I know who we're going to. <laughs> because we haven't seen her in a while. <gasps> yeah, there's a sassy. There's a sassy. She is playing Stardew, but that's alright. Alright. And we will go and raid Sassy and give her some love. Because she is amazing. She deserves all the love. Her and Fade's. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Back here, back here. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I will be back again on Friday. There will be a new overlay. So you will want to come back and see what the overlay looks like. You're getting a new laptop. Didn't you just get a new computer, Matt? <laughs> but that is awesome that you're getting a new laptop. That is so cool. In any case, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for uh, watching me derp with lava, as always. <laughs> but until next time, which will be Friday, I will be back on Friday. I will see you then, guys. Bye!